it's so good. Hey guys, so today I have a collective haul. This is spanning all the way back to Cyber Monday. So I hope you're ready for a very extensive haul. Maybe, you know, take a drink, get a snack, cause it's gonna take a while. But let's get into it. Is it really a haul of mine if it doesn't include savers? The first one I'm so excited to show you. It has the cute little lace-up detail, and it was pretty inexpensive. It was $5.99, and it's an extra large. I actually had a coupon, surprise, surprise, and I got 20% off my entire order. The next top is this one right here, and I love this like burnt mustard looking color and I think it's perfect for like the fall and winter. It is an extra large and it was $4.99 originally and it's just like a normal t-shirt. I think it'll be perfect to just pair with some jeans and maybe some booties. This next shirt I basically bought just for the lulls because I love South Park and this just says it just has Cartman on it and it says respect my authority. And I don't really think that I'll wear it out, um, but I think it'll be nice just to like lounge around the house with and maybe, you know, use as like a sleeping shirt or something like that. I found this in the men's section, which is like, you know, where I go to pretty much all the time. If you want to find like cool graphic t-shirts, definitely go to the men's section for thrifting. There's a little tip for you. And this was an extra large and it was $2.90, so I thought, why the hell not? Sit break. Last item I picked up is this sweater right here and I like it because it is just a nice casual sweater. I really don't wear pullovers that often and so I thought I would pick one up and this is originally from Hanes I believe and it was only $4.99 and it's an extra large and I really like the coloring of it as well and it's super soft so I got this one. Another item I got was this jacket right here and I actually got it on Vinted and I believe it was $13 and I really like it because I don't really have any kind of jackets like this. It just has this like faux fur lining and some suede kind of material and then it has these buttons right here. It is a 2X but it fits kind of snug on me and I think that's just because of the fur lining just makes it a little bit more cozy. I also made an order on debshops.com and the first item is this bralette style um, crop top and it is a 2X but it's a little bit big on me. I should have checked the measurements for it. And it was originally $14.99, but when I went shopping on their website, they were having 40% off, which is awesome. The next top is also a crop top, and it just comes out in like a peplum style. And I thought it was adorable, and I don't really wear white that often. And that's just basically because I'm clumsy and I'll spill something on it, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Um, but yeah, this is also a 2X, and I don't have the original price on it, but I'm guessing it's around the same like $14.99. The next two things are dresses and this one's a little bit hard to show so you'll probably see it better when I model it for you but it is this dress right here and I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to sell this. When I saw it online I kind of assumed that it would be more of a like casual not so like form-fitting dress. It does cling to my body a lot which I'm not really a fan of um, but it is an adorable dress it has a hood right here as well as these little drawstrings and then the coolest part of it is that it has these really nice zippers on both sides and it does have a little bit longer of a hem on the bottom so your butt is definitely going to be covered which is good <laughs> i'm still debating if i want to sell it or not but if you're interested then check out my vintage account because it might be up there so the last thing is this dress right here. If you watch my winter outfit inspiration video, then you have definitely seen this styled. And I love this dress. However, the material gets like stained so easily. I wore this when I still had wet hair and just like the products, like the leave-in products that I used stained the, sh the dress and I was so sad because it won't even come out even in the wash. I don't know if you guys can see it right now. Um, but it is a very cute dress so I don't, I don't know, it's not like super noticeable but 
I'm a clumsy person, and if I spill something on this, then I know it's not gonna come out, so that kind of sucks. Am I like talking too fast? I feel like I'm talking too fast. I don't know. I also have some shoes to show you, and the first pair are these ones right here, and I love them. Oh my goodness, I am just like fully obsessed with them. They're these little booties. I saw them on charlotteroost.com and I was like, yes, like immediately, yes, that's what I want. And they do have a little bit of a zipper detail inside so you can put them on easily. And I like that there's not like a giant heel because it's so easy to walk in these and they're super comfortable. And they were having all of their shoes $20 when I picked these up plus free shipping so I was like there you go I'm buying them <laughs> the other ones are these ones right here and they're just a cute Chelsea boot I do really like them unfortunately they just don't fit very well I was hoping that I would be able to wear them with socks and you know have more of a casual look with these because I think they would be very versatile but socks don't even fit like when I put these on and so I might try to exchange them and get a nine and a half now let's go on to beauty products so I was lucky enough to get some stuff for Christmas that I absolutely loved and the first thing was this giant set of brushes like holy crap you guys it's 18 different brushes like this is ridiculous this is from morphebrushes.com like everything else in this haul i got a sale on it i don't know they're just having tons of sales because of the end of the year and so i believe these were 49.99 i don't know if it's still going on right now but you could check it out um these are the vegan brushes and I will have everything that I can listed down below, so go check them out if you want. These brushes are so soft. Like, I did my highlight with this one. Look how big this brush is. It's kind of ridiculous, but I love it so much. Um, it is like the perfect fan brush. And, girl, you, do you see that highlight though? Ooh, child. <laughs> The next brush I picked up was this one right here, and it is from IT Cosmetics. I've been wanting one for so long. I think Nikki Tutorials kind of convinced me that I needed IT brushes in my life. It is the softest thing on the planet, and I, I would just do this all day if I could. Like, it's, it's kind of soothing, not gonna lie. Um, so if you really like brushes, then this is a great all-over powder brush, and I've been using it, and it is a little bit pricey, but the quality is there. Moving along, I also picked up some stuff from Sephora. I was lucky enough to get a gift card from there, and I picked up two items. This is a Becca in Moonstone, and I have been wanting this for so long. It is like the prettiest highlight on the planet. I love Becca highlighters now and I have it on right now. I I can see it in the viewfinder. That's how intense it is. And I just want to slather this in on my body. Like lush. Make a bath bomb like this, please. It is like the prettiest white gold kind of highlight. And it's just so reflective. The next thing is this Origins moisturizer, and this is the best moisturizer I've ever used. I have been like obsessed with it. It comes in this packaging, and there's so much product, and I'll be using this for like a lifetime. It has a really nice like orange citrusy scent, and I think it's like really nice to wake up to. It really sinks in. It doesn't just like stay on top of your face you know what I mean I went over to Ulta and I picked up a few like repurchases just because I love them and the first thing I got was this little Stila eyeliner this is their felt tip and it gives me so much control and I think it's like around $22 and I haven't found anything else that gives me this much control and it's waterproof so it stays on all day the next thing is this little setting spray by Urban Decay, and this is their travel size, but I think it's better to get the smaller size, just because this lasts me forever, and the other one is like, I don't know, double the price. So, I love this, and I definitely see that has a great staying power for my makeup. The last thing is just this single eyeshadow. I saw it 
while I was looking through the aisles and it just called out to me because it is a perfect like burnt red shimmer if that makes sense and it is called heat chaleur I don't know how to pronounce that but it's adorable so <laughs> I will definitely be using it so we're almost done but I do have a few random things and when I say random I mean random. I went to Daiso with my friend Shayla and she actually has a channel, it's called Shade Weeb, and I'll link her down below so go over there and give her some love. But I ended up getting this skull and it is basically just like a bank but I didn't realize that until later on, it kind of makes sense. But it is like this really nice bronze color and it was six dollars I think and I just thought it was really nice room decor so I picked it up. Another thing is this pouch right here and it just says every day is natural style and this holds all of my makeup. I needed to upgrade my like makeup bag because my other one was overflowing so you know if you have a problem just get a bigger bag. The last thing I'm gonna mention is this little notebook right here and this is my journal. I started one in 2016 and you know it's been going strong. It's only been you know seven days but I've been doing the journaling. Look, journaling. Things are happening in my journal. Ta-da! And I've just kind of decided that I want to try to write more and at least try to get something down on paper every single day and it's been going well so far. Um, I'm trying to keep it interesting by adding things that like inspire me, not just like my everyday life. So I write about people that inspire me, music. I've also been interested in photography so I have a few pictures in there and I'll just talk about why I like it. So it's just a good way to get some inspiration and ideas out on paper and I really like it. So let's see if I stick with it. <laughs> so that is it for my haul. Thank you so much if you're actually sticking to the end of this because it was really long. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because I make new videos every single week. Also check out my social media. I have Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and also Vinted. If you follow me and tell me that you're from YouTube, I will definitely follow you back. And I love you guys so much. I am looking forward to 2016 being the greatest year that I have on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.